What up, Jake Paulers? Today, today, I'm making a cooking video. Yes, I'm making meatloaf at 9 p.m. because I'm an adult and I have my life under control. So this recipe I'm gonna do is a family recipe that is ingrained in my DNA at this point to the point where I don't know the measurements, so you're just gonna have to eyeball what I eyeball. Maybe you'll have it, maybe you'll hate it, but either way, you're gonna get diarrhea. That was a joke, it's not gonna give you diarrhea. I don't think. I mean, cook it thoroughly. So first things first, welcome to my kitchen. Let me talk you through all the stuff we're gonna need. Pyrex dish. One, green bell pepper. One, white onion. Two pounds of premium ground beef. Kobe, only the best. Ketchup, Worcestershire sauce. Salt and pepper, cutting board. Knives, I'll get, the, I'll get that out later. That's really it, I think. Oh, a bowl, a big bowl to mix it in. It's all I have. Okay, so I think that's everything, uh, unless I've definitely forgot something. Of course you forgot something, you fucking adoit, oh my god. You also need a single egg and a sleeve of slateens. Uh, now let's, let's, let's just jump into it. So first things first, you're gonna wanna set that bad boy to a cool 360. So as that's preheating, we're going to form our loaf. It's already sounding appetizing. So a professional chef always clears his workstation. I'm a responsible adult. You poor, poor, sweet babies. You have no idea what's about to happen to you. Recycle. <laughs> it wasn't recycling. Cleanliness is next to godliness. First, we need to find a knife that arbitrarily seems like it would be good for the job. Because you're not a chef and you have no fucking idea. But this one's pointy, so... So when you're chopping your green bell pepper, you're gonna wanna take out the stem and seeds. Try to knock as many of those seeds out as we can. Ideally, you get them all out. We then slice our, our boy, which doesn't tend to be crazy easy. McDonald's will make you fat. They serve Big Macs. They serve quarter pounders. I don't actually know how to properly cut an onion. I'm gonna wash this counter off. It's bothering me. So, you can use the same knife, it doesn't matter. I uh, just made another mess. McDonald's hamburgers are the worst. They are worse than Burger King. So, having washed our hands again, our fine, fine, only the best ground beef. This is an 80-20 household. You're gonna wanna use two pounds of this. Wash your hands at like every step of this process. You want two pounds of beef. You can go a little over even. Meatloaf, a lot of the time, is very much about, it's about self-expression, you know? It's about, it's, a, it's an art form, you really. If you really think about it, I am an artist. Next step is we add our seasoning. A healthy dose of pepper and a good bit of salt. We're gonna slosh some Worcestershire sauce. Like a huh. A good squirt of catsup. So I'm sorry to inform, you know, my vegan viewers this is not a vegan dish. So let's see if I can crack an egg with one hand. What do you think? I bet I can do it. Oh, oh no. Hey, you know what? We didn't get any shell. There was no shell. And we're gonna go ahead and wash our hands again. A full sleeve of saltine crackers. You wanna crush it up while it's still in the sleeve, dump the whole bad boy in there. So here's the uh, the fun and or disturbing part, depending on who you are. You just you just really get in there. Uh, what your goal is is a very consistent loaf. Oh man, I'm making a mess. Oh my god, this is this could be you know this could be fun for you. You know I don't know you. Maybe you're a pervert and you like this kind of thing. Uh, and we take our loaf, pop it on into the 
This sweet, sweet boy right here. You give it a good little, give it a little shiatsu in there. That's about a meatloaf. You don't want it to be like thicker in one place than the other. You kind of want it to be sort of flat, but you want it to be a, a vague rectangle. Now we wash our hands again. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So we've got our meatloaf, right? I'm not sure why you do this. I've just always been told this is what you do. Now, for some reason, only the eldritch gods understand. You pour water around the loaf. Just kind of just enough to cover the bottom, right? So now, we're all set to go into the oven. Here's the thing. Uh, it's kind of a long cook time. <laughs> to start with, we're gonna run it at 50 minutes. So now, you have a chance to clean up the massive mess you've made. A Big Mac has 26 grams of fat. Okay, so we're about to pull this bad boy out of the oven. Well, hold on, it's not quite done yet. We're gonna coat the top with a nice tomato puree glaze. Those are appetizing noises, are they not? So we've got our gourmet sauce, right? So now, ugh, oh my God. Now, it's time to coat the top. So the heat's gonna do something to the ketchup. I don't know, I'm not a chemist or a physicist, or I'm, I don't even know how to cook, really. I'm kind of a fraud. It definitely adds something to the flavor, all right? Just trust me on this. Back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll. We made it, kids, we made it to the end. Me and you, we've been on this journey for God knows how long, but the meatloaf, has finished its cooking adventure. <laughs> Listen to that. That's disgusting sound. You know what we need? We need some beauty shots of this bad boy. Maybe it's just my nostalgia, and maybe this actually just looks disgusting, but holy god, look at that. Look at that marbling. <laughs> I didn't make any sides. I have my life together. If you are planning on making sides with the, I need two hands. If you are planning on making sides, something good and starchy. Oh man, I can confirm that's fucking delicious. This is a mission accomplished. I plan on making more videos like this one. I need to duck down so I'm in frame. There we go. Get that out of the shot. So more videos incoming. I like doing this. There'll probably be a couple more cooking videos, you know, interspersed there. Thing is, I don't really, I know how to make like three things. I think another thing I might do is try a recipe I haven't done before that's like way above my skill level. And I think, you know, watching people fail is funny, right? I have a few other video ideas, you know, to hold me over. Stay tuned. Oh hey, it's me on a different day. Look at him stare at the camera. So I totally didn't forget to recommend a song for this video. So anyway, today's song is Adapt by That Handsome Devil. It's sort of jazzy and punky and it's kind of got something for everybody. That Handsome Devil as an artist just has something for everybody, honestly. Back to you, Dave. Anyway, uh, enjoy your time on Earth. Wow, that was that that came out like way more poignant than I thought it was going to. We still haven't come up with a with an out phrase. Sorry to say, I'm open to suggestions. Bye. Get out of here. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs>